hello to Joe. Hello, Joe Jingles. Are you ready to go? Hello boys and girls, how are you all doing? It's Denise and Joe from Joe Jingles for Man at Oma. And we're here today because we want to be able to teach you boys and girls and Joe all about road safety. What's that Joe? What is road safety? Boys and girls, do you know what road safety is? Well, road safety is all about being safe around the roads because the roads can be very dangerous. Yes, there can be a lot of traffic on the roads. Joe, what sort of things do you think you might find in the road? Do you boys and girls know what you might find in the road? Joe says a bus. Well done, Joe. Yes, you find a bus. And what about a car? Well done. And no, Joe says a boat. Don't think you find a boat on the road. An airplane? Oh, don't think you find an airplane on the, on the road either, Joe. A lorry, well done. Yes, you find the lorry. And a motorbike, well done. Did you boys and girls come up with any other things you might find in the road? So, now that we know what to look out for, how do we stay safe on the roads? So today we're going to teach you all how to walk in the footpath, cross the road nice and safely and be seen. So how can we stay safe along the footpath? Well, Big Joe is going to show us. When you're walking along the footpath, it's really important to stay on the inside of the footpath, away from all the cars and away from the edge of the road, just like Big Joe. Joe wants to know, are we always safe in the footpath? Well, not really, Joe, because we always have to be aware and watch out for other cars maybe coming out of hidden driveways. Yes, just like this one. And it's really important boys and girls that you must always be aware, always be aware whenever you're on the footpath. You shouldn't be playing with your friends in the footpath, too dangerous near the road. And also if you drop your ball or anything, just like Big Joe, it's important not to be running after it. Joe wants to know, what do you do if you need to cross the road safely? Well, Joe, you need to find somewhere safe like a traffic lights or a zebra crossing or somewhere safe to cross. So the first thing we're going to look at is traffic light. When you come to the traffic light, you must press the button and wait. So we need to wait for the red man to turn green. Don't forget we need to stop, look, Listen and think because sometimes the cars can break the roads. Look, the man is green, there's nothing coming, so it's now safe to cross. So another safe way to cross the road is a zebra crossing. What's that Joe? No, not that sort of zebra. They call it a zebra crossing because there's black and white stripes painted across the road. So when you come to the zebra crossing, you have to stop, you gotta look, you gotta listen, and think and when the cars have come to a stop and it's safe to cross then you can do so. Boys and girls, Joe wants to know what happens if you can't find traffic lights or zebra crossing? Well Joe, you need to find a safe place where you can cross the road. The best place is where you can see clearly up and down the road and where the cars can see you clearly too. No, not there, Joe. That's much better. And you need to stop, look, listen and think. And when it's safe to do so, you can cross the road. 
Oh, that's great. Joe says he feels a lot safer now and understands how to cross the road. I hope you all do too. Take care, boys and girls, and be safe. And remember to stop, look, listen, and think before you cross the road. Stop, look, think. Stop, look, think. Before you cross the road. Before you cross the road. You use your eyes and you use your ears. You use your eyes and you use your ears. And if no bus or car appears, well then you cross the road. Well then you cross the road. Stop, look.